I wanna tell you about a high quality stock that pays big, growing, reliable dividends. These growing dividends are funded by growing profit because this business is one of the most well-known confectionery businesses in the world. We all like the occasional treat, right? Who doesn't love some good chocolate? Well, this company is one of the world's biggest and most successful providers of confectionery treats. Furthermore, it's been broadening the business out into salty snacks, sweet and salty. However, there's nothing but sweetness when it comes to this company's growing revenue, profit, and dividend. I've personally invested in stocks just like this one on my way to going from below broke at age 27 to financially free at 33. By the way, I explain exactly how I achieved financial freedom in just six years in my early retirement blueprint. If you're interested, you can download a free copy of my early retirement blueprint using the link in the description of this video. Getting back to the stock I'll tell you about today though, perhaps best of all, it looks undervalued right now. Price is what you pay, but value is what you get. Why is that important? Because buying a dividend growth stock when it's undervalued should provide for a higher yield, greater long-term total return potential, and reduced risk. With this in mind, I wanna share with you an opportunity recently came across in shares of Hershey Co which appear to be trading at a significant discount today. Hershey Co. stock ticker HSY is an American multinational confectionery and snack food company. Founded in 1894, Hershey is now a $37 billion by market cap confectionery leader that employs almost 19,000 people. The company reports results across three segments. North America confectionery, 82% of fiscal year 2022 sales. North America salty snacks, 10% and international, 8%. Hershey has spent the last 100 plus years constructing a confectionery empire. The company now controls approximately 100 different brands, including the likes of Kit Kat and Reese's. These beloved candies have allowed Hershey to build a commanding lead in the U.S. confectionery market. It's estimated by IRI that Hershey has a 45% share of this market, which is incredible. And since chocolate is a low-cost, high-value occasional treat for many people, paying up for the consistent, familiar, and distinctive flavor of Hershey's candies makes a lot of sense for many consumers. This makes it difficult for private label products to compete, so the dominant players already in place are entrenched with very strong competitive positions. The brand power here is immense, but that's not all there is to the story. Management has recently broadened the business by acquiring a range of salty snack products to complement the core confectionery business, giving Hershey a sweet and salty one-two punch. Hershey acquired Amplify Snack Brands, which makes Skinny Pop ready to eat popcorn for $1.6 billion in 2018. The 2021 acquisition of Dots Pretzels for $1.2 billion further bolstered Hershey's salty snack offerings. The last decade has been very kind to this business. If passed as prologue, shareholders of Hershey have a lot to look forward to. That should include plenty of growth across revenue, profit, and the dividend. To date, the company has increased its dividend for 14 consecutive years. The 10-year dividend growth rate is 9.5%. While that's great in and of itself, Hershey has been growing its dividend at an even higher rate in recent years. The most recent dividend raise, for example, was 15.1%. Very nice acceleration in dividend growth. Along with this high rate of dividend growth, the stock offers a yield of 2.6%. This is a fantastic combination of yield and growth. Assuming a static valuation, the sum of yield and growth should roughly equal one's annualized total return. If you can get a near 3% yield and growth in the 10% range, that's setting you up for low double-digit annualized total return. Nothing wrong with that at all. Also, this 2.6% yield is 60 basis points higher than its own five-year average. A payout ratio of 51.4%, which is almost perfectly balanced, shows us a healthy dividend with room to head higher over the coming years. Lovely dividend metrics here. Looking at business growth, Hershey increased its revenue from $7.1 billion in fiscal year 2013 to $10.4 billion dollars in fiscal year 2022. That's a compound annual growth rate of 4.3%. I usually look for a mid-single digit top line growth rate from a mature business and Hershey pretty much delivered. Meantime, earnings per share grew from $3.61 to $7.96 over this period, which is a compound annual growth rate of 9.2%. Excellent. Always nice to see a high single digit bottom line growth rate from a large established business like this. It just goes to show that there are multiple levers a business like this can 
can pull in order to drive excess bottom line growth. One such lever is buybacks, and Hershey did reduce its outstanding share count by approximately 9% over the last decade. It's also nice to see how well bottom line and dividend growth match up almost the exact same growth rates over the last 10 years. Management has clearly been running a tight ship. Looking forward, CFRA believes that Hershey will compound its earnings per share at an annual rate of 11% over the next three years. I like this call, seems realistic to me. It gels with Hershey's recent gathering of speed across the business, which shows up in the aforementioned dividend growth acceleration. For some perspective on this, Hershey itself is guiding for 13% to 15% year over year growth in EPS for fiscal year 2023. Moreover, recent quarters have consistently shown double digit year over year earnings per share growth for the business. There's nothing to indicate that Hershey will do anything but grow its EPS at a low double digit rate for the foreseeable future. It's just too good of a business to do otherwise. In my view, only some kind of major unforeseen macro event could throw things off. If we take CFRA's forecast as the base case, this sets up Hershey to grow its dividend at a similar level. The balance payout ratio would easily allow for this. That translates to a good possibility of low double digit dividend growth over at least the next few years, and you're getting a near 3% yield to kick things off with. That is highly, highly appealing to me. Moving over to the balance sheet, Hershey has a rock solid financial position. The long-term debt to equity ratio is one, while the interest coverage ratio is approximately 15. I'll also note that Hershey's long-term debt load has been reduced by nearly 20% after peaking in fiscal year 2020, and that's while both revenue and net income are both up healthily since then. I like the deleveraging story playing out, which gives Hershey future firepower for more bolt-on acquisitions. Profitability is outstanding. Return on equity has averaged 68.5% over the last five years, while net margin has averaged 15.7%. Hershey is producing very high returns on capital and the margins are fat. This is a world-class operation and the company does benefit from durable competitive advantages that include economies of scale, brand slash pricing power, and a dominant share of its core market. Of course, there are risks to consider. Litigation, regulation, and competition are omnipresent risks in every industry. The rise of new weight loss drugs could reduce demand for Hershey's indulgent products. Input costs can be volatile. Hershey's long-term growth profile is largely tied to the U.S. confectionery market, which is mature. Hershey's small international segment does expose the company to currency exchange rates and different markets with different rules and tastes. The company has been long reliant on sales channels such as gas stations and convenience stores, which may see unfavorable changes as more commerce moves online. Overall, I don't see the business model as having an elevated amount of risk, but the quality is elevated and the valuation looks appealing after the stock's 20% plus drop in price over the last year. The stock is trading hands for a PE ratio of 19.8. I think that's downright low for a business of this stature. For the sake of comparison, the stock's own five-year average price to earnings ratio is 26.4. Even that average earnings multiple isn't terribly high in my view, but we are well below that right now. The current sales multiple of 3.4 is also quite a bit lower than its own five-year average of 4.2, and the yield, as noted earlier, is significantly higher than its own recent historical average. I valued shares using a dividend discount model analysis. I factored in a 10% discount rate and a long-term dividend growth rate of 8%. That dividend growth rate is as high as I'll go with the model. However, if there's any business that deserves the benefit of the doubt, it's this one. This is a world-class business that dominates its market with well-known, beloved brands. Hershey has grown its EPS and dividend at rates in excess of what I'm modeling in, and both growth rates have recently accelerated. I just don't see anything to indicate that Hershey can't grow its dividend at a high single digit rate over the foreseeable future. The dividend discount model analysis gives me a fair value of $257.58. The reason I use a dividend discount model analysis is because a business is ultimately equal to the sum of all the future cash flow it can provide. The dividend discount model analysis is a tailored version of the discounted cash flow model analysis as it simply substitutes dividends and dividend growth for cash flow and growth. It then discounts those future dividends back to the present day to account for the time value money since a dollar tomorrow is not worth the same amount as a dollar today. I find it to be a fairly accurate way to value dividend growth stocks. Morningstar rates HSY as a four-star stock with a fair value estimate of $197. 
CFRE rates HSY as a three-star hold with a 12-month target price of $197. I came out high, which does surprise me. Averaging the three numbers out gives us a final valuation of $217.19, which would indicate the stock is possibly 15% undervalued. Here's the bottom line, guys. Hershey Co. is a world-class business that dominates its market, producing high returns on capital and fat margins in the process. Recent progress suggests it's getting broader and better, giving shareholders much to be excited about. With a market beating yield, high single digit dividend growth, a balanced payout ratio, nearly 15 consecutive years of dividend increases, and the potential that shares are 15% undervalued, long-term dividend growth investors appear to have a great long-term investment opportunity on their hands right now. And now for a special news announcement. Morgan Stanley recently released its list of 24 global single name stock longs for 2024. One name that pops out to me is L3 Harris Technologies Inc, stock ticker LHX. L3 Harris Technologies had an unusually poor year in 2023, barely up 2% on the year. This is a name that routinely outperforms and with defense stockpiles dwindling and space heating up, L3 Harris Technologies could go on a big run in 2024. Meantime, you're collecting a 2.2% yield on a dividend that's been growing for 22 consecutive years. Take a look. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give us a like if you did and let us know in the comments what you think about this stock. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also take a look at the description box below for some important links including the link to my personal stock portfolio. This six-figure portfolio, which I call the Fire Fund, generates enough passive dividend income for me to live off of. It allowed me to retire in my early 30s. I made my portfolio entirely accessible over a Patreon, and I also post alerts there whenever I buy or sell a stock. I put my money where my mouth is, and I'm often invested in the same high-quality dividend growth stocks that I make videos on. Over the years, I've heard from thousands of investors who've been profiting from many of the same exact stocks that I own. So if you think this is something that you could benefit from as well, check out the link in the description to see my portfolio and circuiting my buy and sell alerts. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.